Hello and welcome to this lecture which I title Keeping Your Sitemap Current on Google. It is interesting to note just how many people do not realize that they need a sitemap file registered with the Google search engine as step one of getting a website found organically through the Google search engine. The second thing that I find most interesting is that people often get the advice, which is good to a point, to keep adding content to a website so that Google sees that your site is active and growing and so it will register it as a current and authoritative place for users to get information they need when they pose queries to the search engine itself. So they go out and create new content on their sites, adding pages, wrestling over the best titles, descriptions, and keywords or keyword phrases to use, and hope that their content starts getting found more often organically so they don't have to pay as much for targeted advertising. But getting the content out there on your website is just the first step in the process. There are a few other things you need to do to get the growing quantities of traffic that you want. Let's start with putting a sitemap on your site. A sitemap is an XML file, which stands for Extensible Markup Language, by the way. The usual file name for this file is sitemap.xml. To get your first one in place, there are many free sitemap generation websites through which you can get a file created. Here are a couple that you can choose from to get your initial file built. The first is xmlsitemaps.com, followed by xmlsitemapgenerator.org. Next, we have websitemap.com. Use these sites to enter your website URL, generate, and then download the sitemap XML file. Once in place, the standard process is to upload the file so that it is live under the root directory on your website, and then you use the Google Webmaster Toolkit to register it within the Google search engine. Doing this is a great and necessary first step in moving your site and its contents up the ranks within the Google search engine. Some important things to consider though as you do this. Be sure that you open this file first to make sure that the file contains all of the web pages within it that you want Google to be aware of. Often for one reason or another, and it's usually coding ones, the free sitemap tools you use miss web pages that you want Google to be aware of when searches are being done. So open the file and update it where you need to in order to get it fully representing all the web pages you have on your site. I often work within Adobe Dreamweaver to do this, as it is my chosen development environment, but you can use tools as simple as Notepad to create, open, and update your sitemap file. And it really is quite easy to build one from scratch if you want to. Here's how you do it in Notepad. First open a clean Notepad file, call it sitemap.xml. Then you can copy and paste in the following information that you need to start your file. Once you have that put in, for each web page location that you want to enter, you would enter the following information. It starts with bracket URL bracket and ends with slash URL bracket. So just enter as many of these as you need to to get all the web pages registered that you want Google to see. At the following or at the end of your file, enter the following to close it out, which is basically slash URL set uh, within brackets. That's all there is to it. Not a difficult thing to do if you know how. Regarding the date timestamp for each entry, just use the current or prior day's date for all entries if you want to do it the easy way, but you can backdate the dates to when individual pages were created for your site if you wish to take on this additional research work, but either way we'll do the trick. The important thing here is getting web pages registered with Google. By the way, regarding change frequency, this tells Google how often to recrawl this web page as it may be a dynamic i.e. content changing frequently page, as opposed to a static where the content does not often change at all. Once the file is completed as you would like it to look, you upload it to the root directory of your website and then you go and tell Google about it. You do the latter by logging into the Google Webmaster Toolkit, if you have not already done so. And by the way, you do need to set up an account for this and register your website or domain location first before you can register your sitemap, so get that done if it's not done yet. Once you are logged into the console, go to the sitemap area, which looks like this screen. On the top right of the screen, you will see the add slash test button. Press that to first enter your sitemap name and then update it into the Google registry. If you find you now have two sitemaps registered, delete the one you don't want by checkmarking the box to the left of the one you want to get rid of it and then finding and clicking on the delete button. 
Your sitemap is now current and will tell Google which web pages you want it to know about relating to your site. Two final points, and both are actually quite important ones. Sitemaps are not automatically updated in your sitemap files unless you are using a widget or plugin for this, such as you can set up on a WordPress site. So when you go about adding web pages to your website that you want Google the search engine to know about, be sure to update your sitemap files as you do this so they will get registered to Google for organic searching. Point two is to be sure to be using the Webmaster Toolkit to request indexing of your web pages to both PC and mobile devices. Indexing your files with Google is what will actually get your titles, descriptions, and keyword phrases registered in the Google search engine database so user queries can find you. I do have a video lecture coming up on getting your web pages indexed within the Google search engine, so be looking for that one. That's all for this lecture. Bye for now.